today what I'm working on is, is moving this guitar and one other through the, the sort of final process. So on both guitars the finish has been flatted ready for polishing. The next step is, there's a series of next steps really and uh, one of them is dressing the frets which I like to do before I finish polishing it mainly because once it's polished you have to be super careful with it once it's super shiny. So at this stage I'm, I'm more comfortable doing things like that. I have to stick tape over the fingerboard and sticking it to a polished finish is, is not really ideal. Far better to, to do it at this stage before it's all shiny. So before I do that there's one other little step to do which is just to clean up the edges of the fingerboards. Um, when you spray the lacquer you, you, you tape over the top of the fingerboard to protect that but you always get a build up of lacquer on the end of the frets and on the end of the board and you probably won't be able to see it but there's a, a ridge there and all that needs to be tidied up. It's a fiddly little job because it's very easy to just chip the lacquer because it's it's quite hard and, and, and it can be a little brittle if you're not careful with it so I'm about to uh, carefully go through that process and then I can move on to um, to dressing the frets. So the first thing I need to do is um, clean the lacquer off the end of the frets. For that I use a couple of little straight sanding blocks which are just pieces of ply with some 400 grit paper stuck to them and um, that and a little bit of care and attention and we'll get them cleaned up. So that's the first step, I'll do that now. The first thing I've done before I sand the edges of the frets, at the ends of the frets, is I just protect the body with uh, this little contraption here, which is basically an amalgamation of uh, business cards and tape, which has agglomerated over the years into a solid mass, which yeah, is ever getting ever thicker. At some point it'll be thicker than a fingerboard, so I'll probably have to make another one. So um, get that on there, and uh, um, actually another little bit more tape, just to be careful. You see why doing this over a fully polished body would be a bit more of a a bit more of a worry. Right, um, use my visor. Can't do anything without the visor. Right, let's do this. I'll just angle this so it's right up against the, the bevel edge of the fret. And it's a little... All I do is I do it just a little bit. Now the, before I go too far, I just like to check because what I like to see there we go, just a tiny bit more now. What you get when you uh, when you do this is you end up touching the edge of the uh, the binding or the fingerboard binding in this case and where you sand through the lacquer there you'll get a little sort of white pale line and I like that to be nice and even all the way along which wouldn't be a problem if the lacquer was universally thick all the way along but you always get a build up of lacquer here it's just impossible to, to due to the shape when you spray you always end up double coating this area because uh, you're spraying, you're painting the body and you're painting into the corner here and you'll always get th thicker lacquer. It's unavoidable so you, you got, I have to be a bit careful about sanding the lacquer here that I don't get, you know, it does, but I still want it to look even along there so I have to be a little bit cautious in, in how I approach things but uh, that's looking okay so far. lacquer there on the edge of the end of the frets. So good. Happy with that. Right, flip it round and do the other end, the other side. This this is the side where there's usually the most lacquer. You get less there. This due to the due to the way I spray it because I'm right-handed I end up spraying with the gun at a slight angle like this. So there's I always end up with a little bit more lacquer here. So this side is usually a little bit more. Right, let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's a little bit more to come off all the way along. It's 
probably difficult to see with the camera, but uh, I can see with the visor, we've got a little shiny bright spot where you've cleaned the lacquer off. So, go back to the, uh, go back to that one, I think. Happy with that now, nice and clean. Give that a quick, quick brush off, get rid of all the dust. And then we can move on to the next stage. Now I've got the all the lacquer off the end of the frets. I have to deal with these little lips of lacquer, and also the little bits of build up on the end of the just on the where the frets been radius. I give them a uh, a quick rounding over for the spraying process so I just like to get that off because again if I if I do it after the fret dressing and I and I go over it with a file fret end file like that I'm pushing that way and I could just roll that lacquer off and, uh, and and chip a bit so I like to take care of that before I before I go any further so it's it's a little bit it's a sort of a bit of this and a bit of that process really First thing I'll do is because I've gone up to the edge of the binding there with the with the sanding block, it's a very thin lip that I can just clean off with a with a blade. So I'll do that first before going any further. And I do this. Always working, always working inwards again to avoid pulling any lacquer off. So this is really just to take that first little lip of lacquer off. There's another couple of steps after this before, before, it's, before it's completely ready. And just cover those fret ends, get little bits of lacquer off of those. Right, that's taken care of that. Give it a quick clean off. And uh, the next stage in the process is just to round off the edge of the fingerboard, the edge of the binding, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. There's a limit to how far you can go with, uh, with a down board like this because the binding is very thin. So I don't like to go too far. Uh, I can, you can be a little bit more aggressive with it with a rosewood board, but uh, this is a two-stage process. First stage I do with a little tiny offcut of a bone nut, again with a bit of 400 grit paper stuck to it, and uh, I just lightly sand between the frets. I have to be careful not to go. I, I don't like the idea of ra radiusing the edge right up to the fret. Gives you a very small area for the fret to fit on, uh, and I, uh, over time, if someone comes to refret it, it, it could be you know could be problematic. So I uh, I like to have the deepest part of the radius in the middle of the fret. So I start with a flat block like this, and then move on to a radius block. So it's two steps. So start over here and do this. So I've been over it and put a bit of a radius on with the sharp block, the square block, because that gets that gets into that corner and puts a little bit of a, a blend just in the corner. 
I do the rest of it with a, a little piece of uh, six mil quarter inch dowel, which due to the shape of it, won't get right in the corner. So I, I, this ensures that the majority of the radius is, is in the middle of the frets, as opposed to being right up against the edge of it. So I do exactly the same process again and, uh, and carry on. There's no real need to um, there's no real need to radius it up here because you're never going to put your hand over the edge here. But it looks better if you do. It's, it's much more even if you do it all the way along. So right, it's uh, about that. Good. Okay, well that's that done. So I'm now ready to move on to fret dressing. Uh, we're about ready to go. Yes, the, the ends of the frets will get rounded over a little bit more and polished, and the whole thing um, gets polished. Effectively, the fret ends will get polished twice. Once when I finish polishing the neck, uh, when I'm polishing the lacquer on the neck. Uh, and again when I polish the fret ends, so this whole area gets smoothed in, even though it's very smooth now, it all gets blended in together during this sort of fret polishing uh, process. So uh, that's where we are for now. Uh, I'll move on to getting the frets marked up, and getting the board masked up, frets marked up and on with some fret dressing. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.